So I just took my first dose of Lion Mane. Uh, I took 500 milligrams about uh, 40 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago, and I just took the second 500 milligrams about uh, two minutes ago. This is the kind that I'm using. I'm making a cup of coffee, and with the Lion's Mane, I'm gonna wait about another 30 minutes after I drink the coffee to see if it kicks in, and I'm gonna go work out. So I took the lion's mane, I took uh, one milligram today and I went and worked out. I actually felt pretty good. Um, I know it's only day one and it takes a while for the actual benefits to kick in, but I still felt the energy and I felt the focus. Um, I suffer from a lack of motivation and it gave me motivation. So that's, a, that's one of my biggest problems. That's why I got the lion's mane is I wanted motivation. Um, I used to have a lot of motivation, but now I'm kind of burnt out and <clears throat> getting myself into my not i would say personal gym but it's it's actually the gym that my complex owns but i don't live in a complex i live in an rv park so it's the it's, it's everybody's gym but getting myself into that gym is hard uh nowadays because i guess i'm burnt out i just i don't know because i love working out i really do but getting myself actually in there to do it has become a chore um, I think it has to do with my antidepressant medication. It's not working as well as it used to, and I'm at the max dose, so I can't get any more anyway. And I'm taking another medication that causes my antidepressant to overload in my body. Not, not too much, but it causes it to be like to not, uh, I forget what the term is, but this, the other medication causes my antidepressant to uh, accumulate in my body uh, a little more than it would normally. And I think this is causing me sleepiness. And I think that the sleepiness is why I don't want to go to the gym. Like today, I slept from, uh, I, slept, I got done with my run at like 6.40. And then I fell asleep probably around 7.30 and then didn't wake up till 10. And then, I, of course, I had to have uh, my coffee to go into the gym. And I, I'm drinking so much coffee now. I used to only drink maybe 400 milligrams a day and i was glad because i wasn't drinking over you know overusing coffee and now i'm drinking 700 to 800 milligrams a day just to get myself in the gym and get myself up to run get myself back into the the weight room gym area so that i can do my boxing training um so yeah the, i got the lion's mane because i wanted some more i wanted something to help me motivate and i think that it does um I just felt kind of like a boost of energy all of a sudden. And I was like, well, I took the lion's mane like 40 minutes ago. So now I have this energy. I think it's the lion's, lion's mane because I didn't drink coffee yet. Then I took another one. Uh, I took 500 milligrams. And then 30 minutes later, I took another 500 milligrams. And then I had my coffee. And then while working out, I really felt energetic. And I felt like I wanted to do it instead of just it being a chore. So that's day one. So it's day two of Lion's Mane. Uh, waking up, I'm a lot tired. I'm a lot more tired than I normally am. Uh, I can just feel it. My eyes are heavy. It feels like there's bags under my eyes. You know, that just that heavy feeling of not being truly awake. Uh, usually when I wake up, I don't have that feeling. And also last night, I had difficulty falling asleep. Uh, I tried to fall asleep around... 7.30 and did not fall asleep until around 10 o'clock or later, maybe 10.30 at the latest. And then I woke up at 3.44 and couldn't go back to sleep. So something I'm experiencing on the lion's mane is an extra boost of energy, even though I've taken it about an hour and a half ago and I just ate so I, I ate after an hour and a half of taking the uh, capsules and I noticed that I'm, I feel like I'm not full. Like I could go, I'm not hungry, but I'm not full. Like I could go to the gym right now and work out and, and it not affect me, you know, be sluggish because of the food. So that's a benefit. So it's day two of the lion's mane, of using lion's mane. Uh, I've been taking two grams a day. I wanted to only take one gram a day, but I take one gram in the morning and one gram in the afternoon uh, because I do 
uh, morning I, in the morning I run and work out and in the afternoon I do a cardio boxing like shadow boxing type workout and so I take one gram before each uh, thing one thing I've noticed that happens to me because I take <clears throat> I guess it's because of my antidepressant um, because last time I took a mushroom type supplement was cordyceps and I was on Zoloft or Celotrelin and it made me really kind of dumb uh, I can't remember like things I can't uh, I have trouble putting words together which uh, after I stopped taking the cordyceps and I stopped using the Zoloft it went away now I use Wellbutrin and it doesn't really happen that much but it still kind of happens and now that I'm taking the um, lion's mane I can tell that it's affecting me the same way the cordyceps did just not as bad um, it's it's probably two times less uh, so I can like right now when I'm talking I'm like uh, 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 that's because my, I lose my train of thought completely and I have to force myself to remember what I'm talking about um, so that's that's my experience so far with day two so this is day three of my lion's mane journey, I guess you could call it. Uh, I took only 500 milligrams this morning when I woke up with my coffee. Uh, I can tell that I don't have the dumbing down effect uh, because of my medication and the lion's mane. Um, like I explained earlier, cordyceps make me dumb because of my antidepressant, I believe. Uh, because I stopped taking the antidepressant and the cordyceps didn't make me dumb. But my, my antidepressant already makes me dumb, so it's kind of like it just enhances that. Uh, I, get, I get blank brain where I just can't think, I can't put my thoughts together. And I go, um, 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 um. And that's, no, that's a normal thing for me, but it gets worse with the lion's mane and with the cordyceps. I think it just gets worse with mushrooms in general, but the only two I've tried are cordyceps and lion's mane. The lion's mane is what I'm taking now. Uh, I could tell that I have a little more energy this morning with just the 500 milligrams and I'm not as dumbed down. But I am gonna take one gram uh, before I work out and then I'm gonna take one gram before I do my boxing. So it'll be 2.5 grams in total. And I'm gonna see how that affects me. But yeah, uh, the five gram or the 500 milligrams this morning uh, didn't really make me dumb, but it does seem to make me happy. I have my mood seems to be really good. Uh, yesterday I had trouble waking up, but today I, I didn't have that trouble at all, and I slept better. I slept longer, is what what I should say. Uh, the past month, my sleep has been five to six hours a night, and I just wake up at between five and six hours, and I can't fall back asleep. Uh, last night I got seven hours of sleep, so I I don't know if it's improving my sleep yet, but I, I'll I mean. Seven hours is rare for the last month of my sleep for some reason. I think it's the coffee. I think I'm drinking too much coffee. But last night I got seven hours, so we'll we'll see how the sleep goes. I'll, I'll continue to update. So this is day four of the lions, of taking lion's mane. I uh, think that it is helping a little bit, but I have a problem with taking mushrooms uh, with my medications because it causes me to just kind of dumb down uh, get blank brain where I can't really put thoughts together uh, I, I don't really have any um, I guess you could say sp spontaneous thoughts I don't, like where you just uh, like are just thinking about random stuff throughout the day I just go kind of blank and I just don't really think and I, it's something that I don't enjoy so I'm hoping that that goes away. Um, the same thing happened with cordyceps mushrooms. Uh, when I took cordyceps, I felt the energy, but after a couple of days, I, it really dumbed me down and it, it was way worse than the lion's mane. But um, I feel like with the lion's mane, I can kind of still uh, be not extremely dumbed down like the cordyceps, so I'm gonna continue taking it. Uh, I took 500 milligrams this morning with my coffee and I'm about to take another 500 milligrams in about 45 minutes, and then another 500 milligrams uh, 45 minutes after that uh, before I do my running and then workout. And then 
I'm going to take another 100 milligrams during the afternoon for my uh, boxing training, which is just like some little cardio boxing I do at my uh, gym. And uh, it's like 30 minutes. And then that, that'll be three milligrams for the entire day. So this is day five of the taking the lion's mane. Um, I can tell that in the morning time, uh, when I take the first uh, two milligrams, which is I take five mil 500 milligrams when I wake up and then 500 milligrams before I go for my run and then one milligram or one gram before I work out and then one gram before my uh, cardio boxing training, which is <laughs> just me in my gym doing boxing. Uh, I noticed that the last milligram that I take or last gram that I take the last one gram doesn't seem to work as well as the other two um, I, c I can feel the stimulating effects of the first two a lot more than I can then can I uh, how do I say that then I can with the last milligram or the last gram so I take three grams a day and the last gram doesn't seem to work as well as the first two but I do take it around 3 p.m. So maybe that's the reason. I, I read somewhere that if you take it closer to bedtime, it, it doesn't really act as much as a stimulant. It acts more like a sleep aid. But that's day five so far. So after five days, uh, what I started to notice around day three is that uh, I have a lot of anxiety. Uh, I take gabapentin for anxiety and I, I take an antidepressant, uh, Wellbutrin. And I noticed that my anxiety in the mornings will sometimes spike after taking the lion's mane a little bit more than normal. But I noticed also that throughout the day, uh, it's easier to calm down when I have anxiety. But just in the mornings, it's kinda, it kind of spikes and it's a little difficult to calm down. But after a couple hours, um, it, it kind of calms down and it's easier for me to get control of myself and not be so anxious. And I've noticed that I'm a little more motivated than normal. Uh, the lack of motivation comes from uh, medications that I take, the gabapentin and the Wellbutrin. Uh, it makes me where I just have no desire to really do stuff and I have to force myself to do it. But I also reduced my um, gabapentin by half. I was taking 800 milligrams and now I'm taking 400 milligrams so I'm I'm hoping that the lack of desire kind of lessens but the the lion's mane does seem to help a lot so I just ran uh, three miles well after taking uh, one milligram of lion's mane I made a top PR it was top five it was probably the fifth one uh, 32 minutes and 17 seconds my fastest three miles is 30 minutes and 20 seconds <clears throat> but I, at the end of the at the end of the three miles there's the last four um four tenths of a mile well i try to run pretty fast on the last the last four tenths and then when it gets down to two tenths of a mile i haul ass and i can usually make it back to the three three mile mark the finish line in about a minute and a half minute 40 seconds <clears throat> but I didn't do that today. Uh, I could have, but when I got to the two tenths mark, a car pulled in front of me and I had to wait for it to pass. It slowed me down a couple of seconds and I was almost, I, I was either a couple of seconds behind or right on target for three, tw 30 minutes and 20 seconds. <clears throat> um, maybe could have beat it today. I slowed down to a jog after that for the last two tenths of a mile. And that's why it took so long to get that's why it's 32 minutes instead of like 30 minutes and something or 31 minutes. I felt pretty good. I could tell that there was something extra uh, pushing me during the run. I had I had something. It wasn't like motivation, but it was like I was able to push myself more than normal. Um, even though I, I was I might have been behind my best time, I still felt like I my running was it was it was easy to run. Usually running is hard for me, it's very hard all the time. It was easy today to push myself. 
So one thing that I've noticed today is I don't have that feeling of dread for my workout. I actually have uh, motivation, like I want to go work out. Um, I, I, like I said earlier, I uh, am only taking 400 milligrams of the gabapentin instead of 800 milligrams. That could have something to do with it. And also I think the uh, lion's mane is also working pretty well. So I'm probably gonna work out here in about 30 minutes. Uh, it's, it's been, it'll be an hour and a half since my uh, run. So I did incline bench today. Um, I did more reps than I normally do, which I'm attributing to the lion's mane probably. Uh, even though I was able to do more reps, the weight felt heavier than normal. Like uh, my first set, I got eight. I normally get seven reps. I got eight reps, but the weight felt heavier, which is weird. I don't know. I finished my boxing workout. Um, I got I got to add something to this video. I just received my Rhodiola Rosé. Uh, it's 250 milligrams. I tried to find 100 to 200 milligrams, but they were really expensive. And so I just got this 250 milligram one. Um, I went, I went and did my boxing workout before I went, I took the, uh, Rhodiola Rosé for about an hour before I went and I took Lion's Mane, uh, about an hour before I went, but the Lion's Mane, I got a new, uh, stash of it, I guess. I don't know. I, I can't think of what to say. I've got a new, uh, box of it, a uh, bag of it because I have it in powder form now. Um, it's cheaper and there's a lot more than the, in the pill form. Uh, I mixed it with my coffee. The coffee tasted a little more bitter, uh, but it wasn't seriously bad. It, you couldn't, it, you couldn't really taste it. It was, it was 500 milligrams, so it was uh, half of a dose. So I couldn't really taste it. I thought I was gonna need coffee creamer for it, but I might, I may not. Um, so while I was doing my boxing training, um, I was able to get back into the the rhythm of of the training what i was doing uh, a little bit faster so when i took a break i was able to get back into the the punching faster um i noticed but i the if i did get in faster i couldn't go as long so i had to i had to slow down and just wait a little bit so i could go longer um but it did seem to help i mean it, it helps a little bit it helps it's not like steroids but it helps a little bit it's day six and my run was average. Uh, I'm gonna do my workout in a few hours and see how that goes. I did feel, I mean, it's the same. I feel better, like, like I can run without <clears throat> wanting to stop the whole time. I have this uh, little bit of extra giddy up, I guess you could say. So day six at the gym, um, I feel great. Uh, I drank another 500 milligrams with uh, my coffee. Uh, that'll make 1.5 milligrams today. Uh, I'm in the weight room, I feel fantastic. I don't, I, I don't feel like I have lack of motivation. It was kind of hard to get me in the gym at first because I took a nap after I ran, and when I do that, it kind of throws my whole schedule off because I usually try to work out an hour and a half after I run because I eat right after I run. But I took a nap, woke up at 10, uh, went to the grocery store, bought some groceries, came back, drank the coffee with the, the powder, the lion's mane powder. And then about 30 minutes later, I had the initiative to get into the gym. And now that I'm doing it, I feel great. I just finished my boxing training. Uh, I felt pretty good. I could do a little more than normal. Um, I've had less of my, during my rest times, it was less than normal. Um, it was shorter than normal. I could get back into the, the flow of the, the drill faster. Uh, and then I could do, I could stay in the drill longer without fatiguing. So it's day seven. Uh, this is the second day that I've been uh, drinking the powder lion's mane with my coffee. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I waited an hour and then I drank my coffee. Um, it's been said to do that, to let 
to let all the chemicals in your brain kind of balance out before you before you put the coffee in because it'll it's like better for you somehow uh, so I waited an hour then I put the lion's mane in the coffee when I drank it I uh, didn't really feel a kick like I normally do this morning uh, and it was only 500 milligrams which is what I normally take uh, but now I'm drinking another 500 milligrams. It's about an hour before hour and 20 minutes before my run. I uh, didn't, like I said, I didn't feel a kick this morning. But as soon as I made this and I started drinking it, be before I started drinking it, I felt the kick start to kick in. So now I'm gonna have like double the kick. Uh, things just work out that way sometimes, you know. Another thing I'd like to say is I think the coffee man is giving me kind of an a healthy appetite, but. The bad thing for that is, for me, is I'm always hungry. No matter how much I eat, I'm, I'm always hungry. I can I can always eat more. Um, I feel like I should be one of those food channels that just eats and eats and eats a bunch of meals all the time. Uh, but normally in the mornings, uh, after I did my uh, diet where I wasn't, I was eating less than like 500 calories a day. In the morning, I would no longer get hungry. Even after I started, I stopped the diet and I started eating regular, I wouldn't get hungry in the mornings. Uh, now on day six and day seven, um, after taking the first 500 milligrams, I was hungry in the morning. So uh, about an hour ago, I ate a sandwich. But I think that I think it's the lion's mane because normally um, I'm not hungry at all in the mornings, especially when I drink coffee. Not until after I finish my run.